Hello everybody, welcome back to more Dark Cloud 2. I'm Kyle Snow, and we are going to finish the underground channel with sweet, scary treasure chest. It's going to be a room full of mimics. That's, that's what we're in for. Uh, this music is always used in the last regular floor of a dungeon. So usually the, like the next one will be the boss floor. In this case, there's a floor after that that's not a regular floor, but for the most part, it's usually just last regular floor. It's all intense and shit. Also, I just realized I forgot to repair the ride pod. So, this is gonna go... Nope. Mediocre. Why, why do you think I want to hit the thing that's through a wall? It's probably the one that's not through a wall. If I were to guess. Alright. So yeah, we're coming up on the end of uh, the end of the underground channel. It's gonna be a time. Okay, fine. Now we can have our thing. I hate the sound this thing makes. It's just like, it just sounds wrong when you hit it, you know? That's not what sound should come out of a weapon, out of a creature when it's struck. Okay, so that's the exit. Okay, heading up that way. Oh, let's, uh, real quick and close those little Facebook notifications so we don't get random loud noises. Because I should have done that before I started recording, but I didn't. Weirdly, a lot of uh, enemies considering it's normally like all mimics on this floor, but I think that what it was supposed to be is that this is supposed to be the first time that they show up, and the other one was like an accident or something. Because I don't remember there being more than one floor with the mimics, but obviously my memory could be failing me. This early part of the game doesn't last that long, so. Nope. Gonna be a no for me on that one, dog. Jesus Christ, those things. Are a handful. No? No mimics yet. This one will inevitably be one. It's not. Okay, well, that's the map. I mean, there's always a map and a... What's it called? A uh, magic crystal. So those ones make sense. Jesus, those frogs do not stand up very well to my wrench. definitely going to be running into. Perfect. That's what I needed. So many of these fucking things. Alright, 
I can't help but wonder if... Oops, that was not the button I meant to push. I meant to... There we go. Uh, I can't help but wonder if when they ported the uh, the game we've had, like, they have, like, issues with things like coding like that, maybe having conditions that are supposed to be on certain floors be on other ones. Because, like, the name of the floor usually tells you so, like, especially as we go later, uh, usually tells you something about that floor. Um, which is so far... Like, usually you'd expect... Oh, fuck. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Usually you'd expect, like, a floor full of treasure chests to be on the... Like, mimics to be the floor that has, like, that name in it, right? Like, even if every chest that's left is a mimic, that's two. Like, that's not enough to justify the title. But the last floor, where I wasn't expecting any, we ran into a bunch. Um, that, and I've noticed... And it could be something that was done on PS2 graphics as well, but, like, little times where they'll be, like, clipping with art. Like, when I was, you know... If you take out, like, the gun here... Oh no, oh yeah, uh, look at the top there, when it gets to certain angles, like, a little extra frame pops in there. I don't remember that being a thing on the, uh, on the PS2, but I could have also just not seen it, I was playing on CRTs back then, like, you know, there are lots of different reasons that things could be. Okay, well that may have more than made up for it. King Mimics. The biggest Mimics. It's a good thing I've upgraded this gun, because whew, that's going to be a thing. What do I need to build it up from here? Cyclone and Exorcism? Yeah. You know what? I don't know if my uh, wrench has the capability. Oh yeah, no, that's a that's a bad time. This might be the time to pull it out. Let's see what I got for nothing. I've got nothing I can use to throw at this. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna play. Can I get him with the last pixel of that attack? Oh, yeah, that's a thing that he can do, too. Uh, One-shot you. So that's unfortunate. First game over of the, uh, of the campaign. That'll take you back to the last time you saved, which luckily for me was right before this floor. Alright, let's do that again. Not be greedy, maybe just pull a rod pod again for that that one. I was trying to be greedy and get the stuff for Mr. Wrench, but that did not pay off. It's okay, we wasted like nine minutes, we'll be fine. Just be real quick again. Oh fuck, right, I forgot that that was empty. Just, yeah. I have to be a little bit careful because um, I don't have, I have half fuel for a ride pod and taking a couple hits will break it and if I have to fight one of those things, I'm gonna get fucking wrecked.
Alright, Mr. Frog. There we go. So yeah, the, uh, the gun that Max had there was the Trumpet Gun, which is the upgrade to the classic gun that he's holding right now. It's literally just the trumpet on the end of a gun, which I feel like would be incredibly ineffective. You don't want the barrel getting wider at the end, but um, it looks cool. And we will be getting that back as soon as we can get one more uh, upgrade to our synthesis points. Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's just not take any risks here. I don't need to be game over twice on the same floor in the first dungeon. That would be embarrassing. Also, great. When you take too long, your the experience points do disappear, so... That's incredibly unfortunate. Just to make up for those ones I just lost. We'll do one damage over and over to this fucker. Yeah! Get fucked! Look at all those bonus experience. Get shot. In the face. There we go. I do enjoy the music that comes on these final floors because it contains a bit of urgency. I find that they do a pretty... Oh, here we go. Yeah, you know what? No mistakes this time. Just not fucking dealing with it. Um, like, they do a really good job of having music be, like, big and epic when it needs to be. And then not when it doesn't. They're just like, you know, because that's one of those things that... I think some games make mistakes with, where they think that they want every track to be, like, big and hype, but I don't think that you necessarily do when you're on a track that will be repeated all the time, right? Because if you're, it doesn't, like, those highs are not as high if you don't have the lows to combat them, right? And also, like, it gets kind of exhausting just, like, listening to something that's just, like, going batshit crazy the entire time. I really need to this all that fucking game. Uh, right, so Cyclone and Exorcism. And, yeah, we'll just do Cyclone, because shooting airborne things is useful. And that's what Cyclone does, if memory serves. Better damage flying monsters, which we can have a difficult time reaching with our wrench. So, yeah. Alright, how's the... Yeah, this kind of demonstrates that thing I said earlier, where this map looks totally different even though it's the same floor, because it literally does change every time you enter or exit the uh, floor, enter or exit the dungeon. They're randomly generated. Which is just convenient. And also, like, decently impressive for a game that was made in 2003. They did the same thing in the original in 2001, like having safeguards in place so you couldn't fuck it up. Um... What was a little bit interesting is they definitely made some mistakes in the first one that they should have been able to foresee. Um, uh, most notably, they had um, on uh, every floor the question mark uh, block that you see that's like a healing potion or a, he a healing fountain. Uh, in this one, was actually like had a different representation. It would take you to a back floor, which would have better loot, but all the enemies would be like super powered. Um, and you had to have an item that would get you there that you would find throughout the dungeon. Uh, it wouldn't be on every floor, like, it, and, it, you know, it would be one that would be, like, consumable and stuff like that. But uh, the last dungeon of the game, the drop rate on that was zero. Or it was, in, like, it wouldn't show up on the, maybe it was only, would only, like, show up on that floor, like, on the back floor or something. But you couldn't get it. So you could never get to the back floor in the, uh, thing. There was just, like, this painting that was just, like, taunting you. And uh, you just had no way to do it. And it was, you know, that was something that if we were playing, like, if it was a game that existed in the day of patches, you know, that would have been fixed, but PS2 game, CD, once the game was shipped, that was it. There was no, there was no way to do anything about it, so. 
It was a different time. And hey, look, we've beaten all the monsters. Yay! Yeah, so Sweet Scary Treasure has literally twice only had one mimic, and it was a king mimic. I don't remember that being how that goes down, but I guess I could be wrong. So yeah, that'll be the Channel Reservoir. Uh, we are going to go back to the channel entrance first. Oh, I realized I could have just pushed a button to ed exit dungeon. Doesn't matter. We're, we're leaving the dungeon. That's how you get all your health back, which I have. I need to go talk to Cedric anyway to refuel the ride pod, so... Hmm. We still need to leave town. Le uh, go back into town. Also, I don't know, man. You spend too much time in the sewer. You're kind of depressed. Like, it's a whole thing. Where are you at, Cedric? Oh, here we go. Um, I don't think we can afford anything, but I'll show... Upgrading the core, like, this is how you make improvements to old ride pod yeah we definitely cannot afford the improved core or a shield kit or this speaker box that we will never fucking buy it's the most obnoxious thing in the world and it does nothing for you that's beneficial we'll just leave it at that steve the ride pod could fuck off i don't want to hear anything he has to say We'll head back down to the underground channel, and we'll go take on the uh, channel reservoir. This is one thing I do kind of miss about uh, older games. Better load times, because they weren't loading as much shit. Um, notably, recently, like currently, with uh, Assassin's Creed, that's been a problem on occasion, because we're planning to play on... You know, in the day of PS2, you didn't have half-step-up consoles. And also, some shit's gonna be going down. Yeah, this fucking thing is back. This nightmare monstrosity from the opening cutscene. Shall I put a stop to this game of tag we've been playing? Yeah, I guess. Calm down there, Flotsam. Like, we're just... I really wish I knew how he could fly. Now, be a good boy and hand over that red stone. <sighs> I'd rather not. Otherwise, you're gonna make Mr. Flotsam very, very angry. So angry, he might even kill you! Well, that would be rude. I'm not handing this stone over. Just give it up already. You told him like six times, actually. Ooh, I wouldn't cop that attitude with me if I were you. You'll live to regret it. Hm. I mean, didn't you just say you were going to kill me? I guess I wouldn't live to regret it. Yep, so... First boss fight... First, like, real boss fight. The fucking elephant doesn't count for shit. Yeah, I got it. Oh! That was really unfortunate timing. Yeah. The, uh... The nose bombs are bombs, and he's only vulnerable to be hit when he's in that state. Um... There is an attack that uh, you can get a picture of that'll give you an, an invention idea. Uh, I'm not doing it because it's really obnoxious, but it's you can only get it in this fight. 
And I, I tend to stay away from a lot of the inventing stuff, as I've said previously, but... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna end up doing it here, aren't I? Nope. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do! Oh, God. Eh, you know what, let's just... He's dead. Not a hard boss fight. He shoots a missile out of his eye. And if you get a... During that, you get a, uh... It's okay. You can still move. You get an idea thing for it. Yeah, that thing's, uh... Maybe I shouldn't have been using explosives when I had no other way to damage it. <laughs> what's that? What do you mean, what's that? It's two weirdo clowns who are just dragging off something that's way heavier than the two of them put together. You know, normal, normal shit. Could that be the way out? Yeah, that could be the way out. Let's go. This is the right way, right? We came from... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we came from there. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. So, we'll save, because, you know, we just beat a boss. I don't want to die again. some more good music. Remember right, it gets like really triumphant at one point. Yeah. Max's first look at the outside world. Just taking it in. I still don't really understand how an entire town full of people didn't realize that they couldn't leave and that that was like a thing, but I don't live there, so, oops, other direction. I feel like if I was going to a place I'd never been before, a weapon would still be drawn if I had just been fighting a bunch of shit, but... That Max is confident. Time I had seen it. The sky that reached so far away, so far above, the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. You need to meet more girls, Max. But I was yet to realize that great changes were happening in the world. And all of that time that we took to get <laughs> through the, uh, the dungeon, through the sewers, walking, and Cedric just caught up with us in, like, four seconds. Cedric, Trains are faster are than people. <laughs> what you think? You surprised? The Blackstone Railroad's back and ready for action. That's right. We'll see the world on this baby. Max, we got quite an adventure ahead of us. Hop on so we can hit the road. Yeah. We're going with Cedric. Cigarette perpetually over in the left side of his mouth. Not impeding his speech at all. Cedric knows what's up. Hang out here in our coal, definitely coal train. All right, listen up, Max. This is what I found out from Need. 
His story was pretty far fetched. It was Info dump. years ago. Something terrible happened in the world. What exactly happened? You don't need this letter to tell you that, do you, Mother? Listening to Cedric's story, at first I was surprised. But as I listened, I slowly started to understand exactly what it was that was happening around me. Fifteen years ago, the world was laid to waste, and all that remained was the town of Palm Brinks. Weirdly specific. Our enemy, the one who destroyed everything, was a mysterious ruler. His name? Emperor Griffin. We still don't know why he did this. Why he destroyed our world. The reason that he did not also destroy Palm Brinks was because of a stone he believed was hidden in our town. Okay. Yes, the stone I'm wearing right now. Griffin's henchman, Flotsam, threatened the mayor and made him search for the stone. And that's why, when he found out that I had it, he wanted to catch me so badly. The world laid to waste, the elusive overlord Emperor Griffin, and the strange stone that everyone seemed to want. With this mysterious puzzle, my adventure began. What the? It came from outside! Max, that ladder there leads to the roof of the train. Go check it out. Of course. We can't just take a nice train ride. Oops, that's, uh, I'm gonna do a save here because there is a fail state. Let's come up here. Can't just have a nice, easy, leisurely day. Gotta get fucked up by something. We're on a fucking train, but we have what sounds like machine gun fire outside. Because Flotsam never knows when to quit. Now he has sunglasses and a literal machine gun on a dune buggy. Not him again. No, it's like he's stuck to my boot. Max. But we do get this awesome ro rock track that I'm if all we about. Something fast, we're in serious trouble. Time to fight back, son. Sounds like a good idea, but how? Yeah. Here, Bombs that say bomb on them. Yeah, we have. Time to show him who's boss. I've heard worse plans. Yeah, get fucked. So yeah, now the train and the buggy both have health bars, and we're basically just trying to get him. And he does have the ability to jump over the train with the buggy somehow. Maybe a little bit faster on the draw next time there, Cedric. Oh, get fucked. Yeah, not a very difficult fight. He's driving! Jesus fucking Christ. Why, yeah, Yoda? Uh, like this, this doesn't look good, Max. He's gonna blow himself up along with this whole train. Straight up suicide bomber. What? <laughs> another one of those bombs at me. I mean, I could just hit you with my wrench. Also, wouldn't the dynamite's not what's stopping me from lo throwing a bomb at you? You're on the train that I'm riding. Don't you ever give up? You're starting to look pretty pathetic. The kid from the circus is back. Another little brat? Oh, I see. So you want to die too? Sure, why not? Let's go, punk. That is a neat trick. But what, what, 
What's this? Oh shit! It's you! How did you The girl from the start of the game? <laughs> Who just team rocketed him fucking <laughs> onto the track? So I think we may have gotten away clean. Monica. And yeah, her name is Monica. Even though it was the first time we'd met, I felt like I'd known her for a long time. Eventually, in the middle of the forest, the train couldn't go any further. Yeah, that's a bit of an impedance. Ah, oh, stop by our rock. Gonna take some work to move that one. That's fine with me. I've got things to do here. This place is the spirit force, Sindane. But it's different than in my time. Monica came from the future. Yeah, this game gets a little weird. She came to this time to do something very important. That's what she told me. Normally, you wouldn't believe time travel was possible. It's crazy, but this was only the beginning of our unbelievable adventure. That is crazy. The real surprises were still ahead of us. If we could restore the Great Elder's origin point, he could tell us who Griffin really is. The origin point? Here's a slideshow. The origin point is where something begins. Like a flower, you first have to plant the seed in the soil before it will bloom. In that case, the action of planting the seed is the origin point of the flower. In that way, the flower is the history that springs from the origin point. In the same way, all things that happen in the future have their origin point in the past. But if that origin point is changed, the results can be terrible. And that's what Griffin has done. Griffin has sent his henchmen to this time, altering the origin points of my time. And now he is rewriting history as he sees fit. In my time, this forest was where the Elder of the Spirits, Jurak, lived. He was very wise and powerful. His great power purified the forest and gave vitality to all the living things in it. But Griffin erased Jurak from existence. And not only Jurak, all those with the power to challenge Griffin are being erased from existence too. So we've got Back to the Future rules, where you can remember what's supposed to have happened, instead of it just being... This is what always was. So, someone has to stop him. But yeah, we have to deal with fucking time Even travel. Now, my comrades are fighting Griffin in the future. And Max, I need you to help us. Huh? Me? Yes, you have to. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I guess so. It. It's an anime and I'm the protagonist, so oh, fucking sure. With that, Monica joined my adventure. An adventure to take back the true past. The true history that had been stolen by Emperor Griffin. I'd say more like you joined her adventure. You were just trying to leave, and you did that already. Great Elder. Yep, so we can also play as Monica now. Let's start with Sindane. Sindane? Max, you go on without me. I'll just stay here and work on getting Blackstone running again. If you need my help, just holler. Hey, Max, we're gonna have to work hard to shift this boulder. 
It's like six boulders. Bring back anything good you find in the forest. Make sure you let us know if you need a hand. Okay, take care of yourself, Max. And you do, little girly pie. <laughs> okay, fuck you. Learn how to talk to people. Okay, let's go. Cool. We can fast travel with the train. And there's an immigration thing that we'll deal with later. Because we can't do it yet. Uh, that's a good place to call this one, I think, everybody. Next time.